it going? So we're back with another tips and tricks video. Uh, this one is um, how to make uh, a great looking pick guard from scratch. Um, you know, if you're building your own guitar, you might want to go with something, you know, you, of your own design instead of having to uh, use what's readily available. Um, uh, the way I did it is I um, made a, a template for my pet card. And you got to remember when you make templates that uh, sand everything perfect. Um, every little bump or hump or inconsistency around the outside of your template is going to be transferred to your work. So sand your template like it's your finished work because it's going to be. So um, this was uh, taken from um, an earlier video and um, spliced it together. And uh, if you're looking to make a pick guard, um, I hope this helps you out. So let's get to it. Now we're going to start working on the pick guard. Um, and I have a template that I made when I made the pick guard for this one. Now the neck on the mahogany one is a little more forward in the body than on the, the prototype that I made. But this will still work. sit right like that so uh, now what I have to do is um, I have some nice three ply here and I'm going to double face tape it to the, the front of my template and then we'll uh, take it over to the router route it out and then put a 45 degree angle on the edge and then all I have left to do is uh, cut the pocket in it so the uh, the neck can sit down in it it's gonna look good gonna look good all right let's get to it right. place this on here and utilize as much of this as possible so we don't waste any I cut it out here I could still use this in the future for a truss rod cover and same with this might even be able to get like a maybe a Les Paul Pickard out of this after. All right, so let's mark it up.
Okay, got our three ply pickguard material attached to the template with double sided tape. Now let's uh, take it over to the router and uh, flush route it around the ends. That's shaped around the template. Let's uh, put the 45 degree angle on the uh, the edges. So I've cut the notch for the neck. Using the uh, pickguard off the prototype as a guide. There it is. Let's see what it looks like on here. Oh, it fits nice. Stuck a piece of double face tape on the back just to hold it in place while I show it to you. There you go. Nice tight fit. That mess around the edge is the uh, plastic coating, which is not peeled yet. Looks pretty damn good. All right, so. That's pretty much going to do it for today. Um, now I used a template to cut my pick guard out. Um, you don't have to use it. If you're only making one guitar, you can do it by hand if you want. 
Um, you also don't have to use a router. You can cut it out really close with a bandsaw or a coping saw. And then um, if you want the 45 degree angle on the end of it, take a single edge razor and just go around the whole thing. Scrape it until you got your 45 degrees and then you'll be good to go. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Um, we'll see you next time. And hey, behave yourself. Peace.